obviously we're joined by LVFL Sierra Burdick, bronze medalist at the Paris Olympics. Everybody ready for questions? All right, questions for Sierra, please. Once you guys won the game, won the bronze medal, just like what was that feeling like for you? Um, a lot of emotions, uh, for sure. Probably more than I could process at the time. Um, looking back, a lot of gratitude, um, some pride, a sense of relief. Um, but I think it's going to take me probably months, maybe even years, to fully process the whole experience. What are some of the experiences, the learning curve that you had here at Tennessee that you still hold with you today even when you're competing on the Olympic stage? I think resiliency. Um, you build a lot of mental toughness here, you know, and um, I think I learned how to lead here, and I definitely have carried that into my professional career, and um, that was my role, you know, on this Olympic team was to be the veteran leader, um, to be the voice, um, to try to put my teammates in the, the best situation to be successful. So uh, definitely tapping into um, some lessons that I learned here. Um, obviously was preached defense and rebounding. Um, I tried to bring that every single game um, and that was a pat staple and, and I'll continue to carry that with me for the rest of my career. You mentioned resiliency and you know this your team didn't have you know an easy start to this tournament especially just not having that familiarity maybe you would have had with Cam Brink on the roster. And just what was that process like trying to learn each other on the fly in the Olympics? Yeah it was hard. It was hard. Um, there's a there's like a sweet ratio with with 3x3. It's such a nuanced chemistry game, um, and ideally you would like to have three players that have played before, that have experience, um, that know the ins and outs of the game, and then you can have kind of one newbie that you can bring in and catch them up to speed. Um, and I think the ideal time for that would be about three weeks of preparation time. Um, so ideally, we I mean. Obviously, it's not a perfect world, um, and, and Cam unfortunately got hurt, and you know we brought in D'Erica, um, and D'Erica and Ryan had maybe two weeks of 3x3 experience, so we were definitely behind the eight, you know behind the eight ball in terms of our preparation, um, but I think that group stayed res resilient. Um, we tried to stay optimistic as best as we could, even when we were in the fire, um, and I, I think you can say a lot about the way we you know fought back and found a way to. I think we won six of our last seven and, and came home with a medal. So when we were 0 and 3, I don't think a lot of people expected us to do that. Was that your first time meeting coach? That was. That was my first time meeting her in person. Uh, we had texted a little bit before before this. Are you gonna, I'm sorry? Initial impression? I'm excited. I'm excited to um, to see her system at play in the SEC. I'm excited to see her system with our personnel. Um, you know, change can be scary, but it can also be um, an incredible opportunity for growth. And so um, I'm looking forward to seeing her lead our troops. And, you know, the goal is always to get back to the Final Four and to become um, one of the top teams in the country, um, to get back to, to where we were when, you know, Pat was, was at the helm of everything. So I'm just excited. I think there's a, a good buzz, a good energy around. And it was raining, but the opening ceremony still looked like a pretty cool experience. Yeah. It was surreal. Um, there was definitely a point when I was, you know, at the front of the boat getting drenched um, that I got teary eyed just thinking about my journey and how far I've come um, to be standing beside Coco and LeBron uh, on this boat floating down the Seine, like just very surreal. Um, so uh, just a lot of gratitude, like the games hadn't started yet, so I wasn't totally uh, just locked in and consumed by the competition. So I could really just, um, you know, take a deep breath and soak it up, enjoy it, um, and, and take in all the sights and sounds, which, which was really cool. Are you going to be staying around for a practice or two this week for the Lady Balls? Yeah, I'm going to stay around for today's practice, and then i got to head back to Charlotte tomorrow. And then when you are here at a Lady Ball practice, what are some of the biggest words of wisdom that you like to give to the current Lady Ball players? I think just to continue to work, um, like I also went through a coaching transition, so I can um, empathize with the players that are here. Um, anytime you go through change, like it can be difficult, um, but I think they'll determine how far they go. Um, getting behind Coach Kim, 
getting behind her system. Um, you know, and it ultimately, it's, ultimately it's, it's the players on the floor. So, you know, they have to buy in and they have to believe that they can accomplish great things and they have to choose to do it together. Um, so I think that's my biggest piece of advice is just, you know, don't be afraid of hard work. Like, it's going to take hard work. Um, and, and do it together. Like, uh, when I look back at my time here, um, my connection and, and uh, my camarader camaraderie with my teammates was just, was just special. Like, on the way up here, I was on the phone with uh, Andrea Carter. I'm still really close to um, a lot of my teammates. So I think nowadays with the NIL and the portal and, you know, kids leaving after one year, um, you're not seeing as much of a bond on, on college teams. And so that would be my word of advice. Just enjoy it, enjoy who you're doing it with, go to war with your sisters, um, and take advantage of every day. What's their reaction when they hear that you were one of the last players to play for Pat? What's the reaction that the I felt? Players, oh. The players you talk to them, like, you get to like, tell them you played for Pat, like, do they ask you questions about her? Oh, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you know when, oh, I, okay. I, when, I, when, I, when I talk to them today. I, uh, I mean, when I, when I talked with the group yesterday, we, I mean, yesterday, last year, uh, no questions were asked. So maybe this, maybe this uh, bunch will be different. We'll see. To be determined. Knowing that you guys, or that, you went, that you went through that coaching change, did any of them happen to reach out to you? Kind of a words of advice that have been here that are veterans changing coaching, knowing that you had been through a coaching change as well? No, I, I, my, my line is open, uh, and I am happy to extend words of encouragement and words of wisdom. Um, but no, I haven't received any, any messages. All right. Thank you, Sierra. Yeah, thank Good you all. Day.